Hey everybody, my name is Tanya, this is The Tensel Show, and today I'm playing a crows, crows, crows game, which is called The Temple of No. This game is made in twine. Click on underlined words to play. Okay, let's do it. Hello, ooh. Hello, this story may frighten and disturb you, but if you have a strong stomach, a smart brain box, and a cool face, then perhaps you're brave enough to hear it. Okay. Oh, the atmosphere. Oh, where am I? What's going on? What's that ticking? It's probably a clock. Ah. Hello. Uh, what? Please don't interrupt me while I'm explaining what is about to go down. Okay. This story. Listen, this is a twine. You're acting like you've never played a twine before, so just... Hmm. I'm going to click it again. So, what? Seriously? Never played a twine before? Well, you, you're about to be spoiled because it's going to be the best twine ever made. Yeah, that's right. Even better than the beginning of Firewatch. Oh. This twine. This joke isn't funny anymore, and it's your fault for continuing to click on it. Don't do this again. Okay, I'm sorry. It's time, may find us uh, brave enough to hear it. Okay. Then perhaps you're brave like a storm, a bear, or a sailor. A storm. Enough of that. This isn't about you. Anyway, are you ready? No. Yes. Ah, good. This is a story that took place a long time ago. That's right. It's no more of this. That's what? This is a right... This is a right, that's it. No more of these. Oh! It's really hot today and my brain's not work. Anyway, it's a good one. Oh, a big fat book. Ooh. Anyway, let's get out this dusty old tome and hear of this fantastic tale. It's called, let me just turn this up a bit. There we go. It's called. Oh, <laughs> like a storm, the brave explorer, the jungle of doubt, and the temple of no. Let's begin. Ugh. I don't want to sound like that. Okay. Okay, so this is a magical book. Its magic power is to be incredibly relatable. A woman, a bloke, or a frog? I'll go for a woman this time. So, Amy started her adventure in the way she often sta started her adventures. Taking a long drink from her hip flask and looking out at the setting sun. On her table were three things. A letter from her lost love, a magazine she read as a teenager, an Oregon State driver's license. Wait a second. Oh, okay. Let's just click on these first. No. Doesn't want to. No. A copy of Gone Home. Ooh. Wait a second. This is sounding like a run-of-the-mill generic twine. Uh, twine is a game, but for teenagers, you want to be in the past. <laughs> Thanks. This isn't a story about Portugal, Oregon, or state driver's licenses. It's not even fucking set in the US. Fucking yanks. Oh, that's the, that's the story, not me. Let's turn a couple of pages and get to the good shit. Okay, turn page. Whoa. She remembered the amber light as they kissed underneath the... Nope, keep going. <laughs> okay, the fresh spring rain was soon fall. She opened a drawer and saw the flight tickets she had booked from... Yeah, right, keep turning. <laughs> okay, turn to Ash. The frogs hopped around in the pond, and as she slowly moved on, her parents' words came back to her. Amy, remember the explorer's elf. Look, don't, for fuck's sake, I swear this gets good soon. <laughs> okay. The dog yapped and yapped. It's Oma. It's Ona, shouted. You're nothing like Conical Flask. He was a good dog with a raw. Oh, that wasn't really boring. Anyway, Amy knew this woman would never cease her. We must be nearly there. Turn pitch. The baboon gave a mighty screech and tore upon her face like a primate thrashing machine. Keep going. <laughs> Turn page. Wait, wait, wait. Go back one. Turn back page. Okay. Oh, okay. What the? Is that a monkey? What is that? Hmm. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, no. Ugh. I can read. I swear. Hmm. Oh. Wait, no. I was just explaining how Amy lost her eye. I thought she... Oh, that's her eye. Oh. It says she fought a baboon on one of her early adventures. Sorry. Turn 50 more pages. Oh. Okay. 
That's a lot of eyes. Maybe she could take me this, huh? Fucking jungle transition and audio. You noticing this? Depression Quest didn't have this. Okay. <laughs> right. Let's go right into the story. Amy entered the jungle of doubt on her journey to find... The map that sees all things that ever have been or will be! But it meant for... Ooh. The map was legendary. The old tales spoke about it. Yeah, you know the old tales. Yeah. Anyway. So Amy knew she, had pro she proper wanted the map to tell her secrets to the universe. If she brought the map back to civilization, she would truly achieve greatness. She knew it in her warm, fleshy human heart. The temple that held the map was close. <clears throat> the jungle of doubt. The swamp of, swamp of suspicion. I can totally... The tree of... Ah, oh, you can... Yeah. The skull of Steve. <laughs> Amy looked up, down, all around. At the mossy green leaves of the giant trees that reached high above her, she spread out. They spread out. <laughs> Sometimes she could barely see the sun. Oh my god. She was in the heart of the jungle and she knew her price was near. Down at the ground, she didn't know why she was looking down, but she could see some dirt, a bit of gum wrapper, some tourist or jungle resident had left on the floor. Clean up your little kids, don't pollute the environment. Yes. All around, at the jungle surrounding her. She had to cut through the leaves. Oh, Azami! Whoops. Azami cut through the leaves and brush and flora and jungle debris. She thought about some shit, sang a little song, pursued the possibility that life was. Be Let's go sing a little song! Oh, she thought she was singing a little song. You, the player, must sing along to the background music with these lyrics. If you don't, you will know that you have let yourself down and if you don't really fucking enjoy this game it because you didn't put the effort in, okay? These are the lyrics to the song she sang. Okay. What? Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Let's wait for it to get back round. I'm cutting that leaves. I'm pushing past the trees. I'm slashing away at these. Dash for a foreigner and jungle debris. My name is Amy and I'm singing a song To take up the time while I travel along The path to the temple of No. That is where I'm gonna go I'm cutting the leaves I'm pushing past the trees I'm slashing away at these Blush, water and jungle debris I can't say these words Oh my god I'm putting the in! I'm going on and on, but today, oh dear. This game is really, really fun to play. Trying games can be fun, I will shout. Check out me singing in the jungle left out. I'm cutting the leaves, I'm pushing past the trees. I'm slashing away at this brush, flora, and jungle debris. Join me, mischief! Okay. Soon I'll be at the temple of no. It's got lots of treasure and I'm gonna go take some back to my hometown. Get before myself and not share any around. I'm cutting the leaves and pushing past the trees. I'm dashing away at these brush flora and jungle debris. If oh, <laughs> if you don't sing the song, then you know you've let yourself down. And you need to let yourself have a little fun in life. Don't try and be so serious. If you didn't sing the song, please scroll back up and try again. <laughs> if you did sing the song, well done. You are now cool. Thank you. I thought I did quite well there. Okay, so she thought about some shit. And it thought about how her feet were hurting her a bit. She wished she bought some Geox shoes. The shoes that breathe. Ding. <laughs> she continued to think. <laughs> this game is awesome. Amy thought about how her nose was itchy. If she bought Geox shoes, the shoes that breathe, ting, she would likely have had such comfortable feet that she wouldn't be bothered by her meagre nose itch. She continued to think. <laughs> Geox shoes, the shoes that breathe.
Ding. <laughs> Other shoes are also available. <laughs> Fucking hell, Amy thought. Still a ways to go. She considered the possibility that life was futile. Amy thought about futility for a while. Then she remembered that it wasn't any fun to think about. So she thought about a frog doing a little dance. <laughs> That's better. I have this music. be dancing better than this, I'm sure. I don't know how a frog starts. How would frog start? I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah! Do 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 Frog dance! Finally, Emmy stopped imagining things. What a weirdo. I like Emmy. She did it all. She thought about some shit. She sang a little song. Considered the possibility that life was futile. Yes! Light. Oh, temple. Ooh. Amy emerged from the jungle and saw. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. The temple of no. I'm just gonna let this go on for a little bit longer. That was awesome! I am loving this game. Amy marveled at its magnificence. Probably built by the Aztecs, dude. Like it, this, let, oh, I'm letting down this. Probably built by the Aztecs, dude. Like, that is big. That's what she said. Anyway, we're not going to get anywhere just sitting around here giving exposition. Let's climb some stairs. Up. 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 The stairs. We go. And then the temple. Right, so it's temple time, eh? Remember the explorer's oath. Look, do not touch. My cat is staring at me, it's a bit creepy. Hi. Okay, anyway. Amy carefully walked around the dusty and or spooky corridor of the temple, being extra careful not to touch anything. Touch anything. She arrived in a large hall with three doors. Three. Three doors. Three. That is one plus two. Three doors. Ooh. Okay. Do we click a... No. Okay, it's just a picture. Right, it's selection time, everybody. Left, middle, or anti lift. I want to go. I'm oh, thinking left. I don't know why. Oh, wow, it's a Spike Room. Remember Spike Milligan? Nope. Good. I remember Spike Milligan. Is that bad? Webster's Dictionary defines Spike as one, a very large nail. Two, a one of a row of pointed irons placed as on the top of a wall to prevent passage. B. One of several metal projections set in the sole and heel of a show to imp. No, wait, that doesn't apply here. Okay, I don't think there's anything in this room. Hmm, I guess we should turn back around. Okay, then. <gasps> there is a secret door there. Let's go f for the middle. So Amy entered the big old big room. Okay, wow. What stairs in here? Let's climb them. Climbing up. 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 Yes. Remember back at the start of the trying game when you picked Sailor Storm blah blah? 
Those were good times. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> wait, 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 wait! No! Are they pulled a runaway go run! It's danger, real danger prison. Are we excited? Scream if you want to progress to the next end of the game. Ah! <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Alright, one last door to try. Boy oh boy, Amy is bad at this door choosing thing, right? Am I right? There's another door there. Can I scroll down anymore? No, no. okay. Or oh, I'm tired left, okay. Oh shit. Oh dude, in this room there's a bunch of snakes having a pool party. <laughs> Remember that game Snake? Remember how it had actual gameplay? Can't make snake and twine, can you? Haha, no. But let's talk to the snakes. Talk to the snakes? Yes, talk to the snakes. Hi, snakes! Yeah, they seem to be having a cool time. No treasure in here, though, unless you count a bunch of snakes as treasure, which I personally don't. Yep. So that was the spooky snake room. Sorry if you got scared. Back in here, I guess? So there's that one there. So no doors lead to the right path. Can no door truly bring us to what we want in life? Perhaps that is the meaning of this tale. That you can go through a jungle, sing a song, climb some boring stairs, check a bunch of rooms and still you'll never find what you were looking for. Wow. You think, eh? Can I not click on this door? No? Okay, fine. Makes you think. The end. Throne room entry. <gasps> That's what I said. Wait. There's another door over to the right. Let's do it. Amy entered the door. I found. Whoa. The great leader's chamber. Bah. On the seat was. Oh, hello, miss. Come on in. Come on in. Hello. Right. So, um, hello. Um, nice to meet you. Nice, uh, hello? Uh, sorry, one sec, let me just... Uh. Right, um, um, okay, uh, so, yeah, nice, nice, hello. Right, hello, my name is, I am fucking Keith, right? <laughs> and I am, uh, well, uh, I'm the guy in the throne, I'm the, I'm the, the bloody, bloody Aztec god, I suppose, um, Funny, funny story. You look like you kind of come from civilized society, I think. Um, but yeah, so I, um, funnily enough, used to be a shoe salesman. You know, I sold, um, you know, shoes. I, I sized people's shoes down, um, you know, down, down, down Halifax Market. You know, for you know, sorting people's feet out. You know, measuring them, tell you what size you are. You know, put your put your feet on the little thing and um <laughs> and so you know one day i was you know back in back in the storage when you know um fan, I, 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 I went past kind of size six uh before before i got to size seven and then you know god no, next thing next thing i've got it well no i'm i'm here i'm here uh, here in this temple, accidentally bloody kill the old, uh, the old Aztec god, and, um, and so the, the, the people of the, this temple and, and of the surrounding jungle constituencies, they, they've made me their, um, de facto leader. Uh, huh? uh, yeah, um, so, you know, that, that's, that's my back story. Um, okay. looking at you, you, you seem to have come along, well, well, you know, I, I won't presume to, to ask you about yourself, but, mm -hmm. you know, so, um, yeah, n nice to meet you, name's Keith, um, <laughs> glad you could, glad you could find the, the, the place, okay, um, I know it is a bit of a, well, well, it wasn't a trek for me, you know, but fucking between mm -hmm. size and six, uh, six and seven, uh, size shoes in, 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 my, in my shoe shop, you know, down the, down the high price market, but, um, what? No, clearly, like, like you've got, you've got, you've got, you've got quite, quite, uh, you've got quite well travelled, clearly, uh, so you've probably come a long way. Are, are you stopping? Are you stopping? Are you, are you passing through? Like, um, I... I'm hearing a lot of words here, to be fair, I'm not hearing a lot of words here, but, um, Am yeah, I I'm, 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 I'm to... not happy 
need to, you know, wait on the other. Um, so how are you finding the place? Uh, You've got a nice, um... And proceeded got, to... You know, it's clearly very old. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't... Let's ask for them. Well, um... <laughs> it's angered the great leader. <laughs> what? No. Okay, um... Ooh. Sorry. I am really sorry. But, um, that... You can't have the map. Okay? Um... So, I'm not sorry, using it. There's been a bit of a uh, miscommunication here. Um, the map, old artifact of the temple, okay, predates me. Predates me. Predates a whole load of people, you know. Um, only I'm allowed to look at the map, you know. Right. Uh, so, so clearly, clearly you've bloody well heard of it. Clearly you, you know that, that it's here and that I can mm -hmm. it. But, um... I don't, I don't, I don't think you quite understand what the map is. If, if it's you a map. Me, me saying that, I mean the map. The map shows everything that has ever been or ever shall be, but Ooh. in map form. And oh yeah. You, <laughs> uh, you can't have it. Okay, one. But uh, done. It's it's not a giveaway sort of thing. Yes. And yeah. two. All right, two. If I was going to sell it to you. I wouldn't, all right? I've got well, I'm all the emeralds, decided to kill him. The Aztecs, and, I, I, and all the rubies and all Okay. The... Whoa. <laughs> that made major. But little did she know, in killing the great leader, she would become the great leader. And... Explorer's oath. Look, but do not touch. Uh-oh. Violate the air, explorer's oath. No! How could Amy have forgot the explorer's oath? It was très important. French! Now, as her new great leader loyalists approached her, ready to worship her as their new god, Amy had to decide right here, right now, if she would break vows and totally just be a cool, ru cool ruler in the jungle, or grab the map and escape back to civilization. See, I don't really want to stay in the jungle for the rest of my life, so let's go. And that's what she did. That's what Amy did. Or should I say... That's what I did. Uh, that's right, fools, I'm old Amy. And that shit happened to me. I don't know what lessons I learned, or if I learned any lessons at all, but I got a map, I got it. Whoa. And it's giving me me, 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 new pieces of insight. And because you've heard my tale and listened to my words of wisdom, I will tell you one piece right now. The wisdom is... Have you ever played a good game made in twine? Like one that's actually good, not just good for a twine game? <laughs> that's <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh man that was so funny oh so that was the temple of no um that was a fun little game that was quite amusing and yeah i like that that was cool i've not played a twine game before so i didn't quite get all of that part but um yeah that was funny i like it well done crows 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 that was good. I'll put a link down below if you wanted to play it because there might be a few alternative things. I don't know. Possibly. Um, but this was fun. I liked it. It was cool. It was different. Um, but thanks for joining me for this game. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Click the bell for noti notifications. Why do I always have trouble with that word? Anyway, um, that's it for now. Um, goodbye.